uncouth comments coming from a person who is a minister in the government is very unfortunate. Everybody knows the genesis of the Telangana movement. Everybody knows how this state was born. Everybody knows the endorsement the Congress party gave for the formation of Telangana. It is very clear from my discussions with people on the field here that the Congress party is going to have an overwhelming victory in the state of Telangana and form a government on its own. So all these kind of sensational, bombastic, vitriolic statements have really no value and people will not take them seriously. People are going to vote on issues. People are going to vote for the future. They want a change. They are tired of the BRS and the change is going to be the Congress. The BRS has got a secret alliance with the MIM and the BJP that is also getting exposed day by day. And the people are going to give the Congress an overwhelming majority and the Congress will form its government on its own in Telangana. Only a person who is not really uh, observing politics or studying politics very closely will say the BJP and the Congress are the same. The BJP is dividing India, whereas the Congress is uniting India. The BJP is, uh, is, is, is othering the minorities of India and making them second-class citizens, whereas the Congress wants a secular India where everybody is treated equally. So there can be that if there are two parties which are completely different from each other, it is the BJP and the Congress. And the Congress has got an unifying agenda, whereas the BJP has got a divisive agenda. In fact, I would go on to say the BRS is a proxy of the BJP, and the BJP is the proxy of the BJP uh, of the BRS.